But anyway, so Andrew, do you want to kind of tell us about what 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 wisteria is and what they're looking for? Sure. Um, so I'm gonna pull something up as a cheat sheet, okay. basically. Um, hold on one second. Um, so basically, um, wisteria. Um, I guess I should talk about who they are before I talk about what they want about their um, site. But um, Wisteria is basically um, like a cooperatively owned land. Like there was a time when a bunch of different um, cooperative, um, they used to call them communes, I guess. And now they call them like, uh, I can't remember, they call them intentional communities. But anyway people from like different parts of the country wanted to buy a bunch of land in like the seventies and it was cheap here. So there's a bunch of intentional communities around here. And I actually know like people from most of them, but this is one of the ones that was created. And I'm trying to remember when they were formed, I can get some more like detailed information if anyone's interested, but basically um, their plan is what they did is they bought one square mile of, um, what used to be a coal mine so it's like reclaimed strip mine land and so it's pretty like devastated after the kind of mining that they do but um so they just have let it like grow up naturally and they have part of the land is like um a nature preserve and then each of the members of the community get a a five acre plot or something like that to build their house on and then they also have events there they have uh, festivals like music festivals and kind of like uh spiritual festivals and different kind of things like that and so it started out just as this community and then when it became more important for them to um have this event site business <laughs> and um they haven't updated their website at all in that period um so that's kind of what they want to do now one of the community members just kind of made the website as like a hobby like blog thing because they do computer programming but not web building they do a different kind um but they just did it as a hobby and now it's like kind of really important um for for their like business so that they can <laughs> and keep the nature preserve and like uh continue letting uh you know like uh reclaiming the land after the coal mining so um yeah that's like the basic overview of what they are and what they do and i've volunteered out there for a couple years now and um so that's how i know them and if anybody has any questions about any details about um where it is or um specifics about anything um feel free to reach out and ask me a question and if i don't know the answer um i will find out Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, have they said exactly what they're kind of looking for? Um, and I know we've talked about this website as some in the past, but I don't exactly remember what they were looking for. Yeah. So I would be happy to, and I meant to already do this, but, um, I think I've started it, but I just don't have it finished where I could share it. But uh, just kind of like a site map of what's kind of going on there now mm -hmm. and also what they would rather it be. So right now, um, when you go to the site, they've, they've also changed it a little bit recently. Um, but basically, they want to find a way to make it so it's easier to um, like buy tickets to an event or do any of that kind of stuff like it's kind of just like it's not set up in an intuitive way um there's like a lot of clicks to get through certain things and so um i think that the thing they're most focused on wanting to fix is just the structure of it so that it actually um there's a better user experience and people can um you know like quite useful and then after that it's just and that'll be a pretty easy fix the theme is is very old um and that's just like the skin the wrapper you can just like push a button to change that um so um just a little bit of that and maybe updating some images is just what i have personally thought about but to me the structure of it is more important to me than how it looks and they've kind of just got to the point where they can't afford to pay anyone to do it 
um, what it's worth. So they just like basically said, yeah, they get, kind of gave it to me like almost like do whatever with it. We can't, you know, cause we need something to happen and we can't, you know, we don't have any other options. So in that way, like, um, it sounds easier cause you kind of have a, just like, um, you can do kind of whatever you want and make sense to you. But in another way, um, like Brandon at the WordPress meetup mm-hmm. was saying, um, in some ways it's almost harder because if somebody tells you exactly what they want, like that's a lot of the work, right? It's just coming up with the plan of what to do. So if somebody just says, I want it to look like this, this, and this, then you're like, oh, okay, I can just go out and build that. So, um, so there's, yeah, there's some advantages and disadvantages to the situation, I think. Um, but, uh, the, obviously the festival season has been pretty much shut down. Yeah. Um, and definitely they, you know, they're, they have a board director of, you know, and, and all that. Um, so I don't really know, like they are talking now, they're just waiting to see what happens. They're hoping something like later in the season, like July, you know, or September will still be viable, but, you know, the first whole half of their season is just thrown out. So it's not like, there's not as much of a huge, like, pressure rush to get it done also. Um, but, yeah, I'm interested also in other people's thoughts, like, if they um, have checked it out. And, oh, I also have a sandbox, which is, like, just, like, a new website mm-hmm. with, um, that has already has like updated WordPress and updated PHP. Uh So I'll get all that information together and that's what we can actually work with. Okay. And then we'll just change, um, we'll just change the, I can't remember if it's like the domain, if you do it with the domain or with the IP address, but then we can just switch the traffic over to that one once it's ready. Okay. Um, that way we, cause basically the way it is with the site now, it's so old and out of date that you have to like update the front end and the back end. Mm-hmm. And it would be like really hard to do that. Um, you couldn't do one or the other. You'd almost have to do it at the same time. And like, I looked into it and tried and it was like pretty tricky. So we just had this brand new sandbox to work with and we can like make our changes there and then just switch traffic over. So, um, that'll make that part a lot easier. Okay. That sounds good. I mean, you've done a lot of research already on this, so that, that helps a lot. Um, yeah, I'll make sure that's compiled into something I can share with you guys though, so that you're not, you know, I'll, I'll get a Google doc together or something. Okay. Um, do you see that how we have this Trello board for this um, project management? I tried to access it from Blackboard and it wouldn't, uh, let me, but is there another link to it um, that I can try? I'm just going to put this in Discord. Okay, perfect. That Normally that works for me. I don't know why the Blackboard said, like, I don't, I don't remember know. what it said if I didn't have access to it. Or, let me see what it says. Yeah. It says the board not found. <laughs> um, um, Chaz, that, that's a, that Chaz, what are you doing with your screen? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, I must have clicked something. Because <laughs> I have, like, all different types of... Uh, I see, like, what's a Krabby? What's a Spongebob? Oh, yeah. Mr. Krab? Yeah, but, it's Mr. Krabs and his violin. The, um... Okay, the ch- link in Discord seems to be working. Does it? Okay, good. Yeah, so I don't know why I couldn't... That other link didn't work. Eh, it's Christmas hard to tell. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, um, digital assets, uh, is there, um, mm-hmm. I have some images and I can, uh, put those on, I don't know if, uh, you want me to make a GitHub repo to put them or. Yeah, go ahead and Google do that. Or... And yeah, go ahead and do okay. it in GitHub. Um, be good practice for right. everybody and Perfect. using GitHub and, um, just put the link in, um, discord. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I will get on that. Uh-huh. And I'll get a Google Doc with just some of the research and, like, stuff like that, like, little things to know. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, wait. What's wrong? Now, okay. Now it's saying the invitation link for this board isn't valid anymore. Perhaps you could ask for an updated link. I don't know why. I just created it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Like, hey, let me try this again. 
get on Trello. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now it's working. Oh, is it? It's, it's working in a different browser. Hold on. Are you on Chrome or are you on something else? On Chrome, it wasn't working, but now it's working on Mozilla. So I'm just going to go uh, with it. Uh, I have no idea why I'm struggling <laughs> like this. Like, Let's see. I really am, though. Uh, okay, let's try this. So what about the content on the website? Do they have some stuff they already want to put on there or just kind of copy what's already on their website? Um, great question. I'll make sure that I ask. Uh, I'll make sure that I double check that. But I think um, mm -hmm. for now we're good to just copy everything and just get it like functional. Uh -huh. I think once it's to that point where I think really the user experience is the worst part because it's like, and it was worse before, like in the beginning it was just like, it was bas basically like they're about us or like their mission statement. Yeah. That was like the whole page. So you just got there and it was like this poem that made no sense and there was like no context. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think that's the primary concern, but I will double check and see if there's new content. And like I said, I do have some, uh, photographs that we've been uh that we're allowed to use um and i can share those with everyone and we kind of have a lot of them um so maybe everyone just like once i get them up they can just look at them and see what they like because i'm interested to know like i'm not quite sure how um it should maybe look as far as design wise um i've been focused mostly on trying to think about how to like just change the structure of the site and make it flow better but i will ask okay i'm going to make another list okay. here um just call it ideas i'm um, not okay. necessarily you need to do but one of the things just looking at the website is like that heading image the header image mm -hmm. it can be um updated per season yeah okay you know oh, ohio's yeah. known for having yeah. actually all seasons in the year so I um, yeah, either something that goes any time of year or like update it. Um, yeah, every season. I think that's a great idea, and we can decide which one makes more sense. Um, I would almost go with a generic thing because mm -hmm. um, the person who used to be maintaining this site kind of stepped down from like everything. Mm -hmm. um, that was serious. So if we get this site up and functional, like I think I'm going to be having to maintain it. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so that will be good, but um, I think that, yeah, I mean, so I guess it's possible to do it either way, but mm -hmm. we shall, I guess we could all talk about that. I don't know. Yeah. And um, Chaz, do you have any ideas just from listening to Andy and anything that you've seen or noticed? Uh, I noticed that the website really sucks, but. Yeah. <laughs> That is so true. Let me see if I can find a link to the sandbox and send it to you guys now because that is entirely due to it being the, uh, like unupdated version. Yeah, it's unupdated on yeah, the I figured end, that out. So it just is like it can't it you can't really fix it other than that. You but it's the uh, purple bar at the bottom. Right. Um, let me see. If I that seems it. to be well, but everything else is just kind okay. of scrunched up. So I'm sending you guys a link on Discord right now, and this is our uh, updated sandbox. And so it, um, and I think you should be able to access it. I don't know. Let me know if you can. It will say that your connection isn't private uh, or something. Damn, my connection isn't private. Dang. Man, I don't know. It's being annoying. Anyway, um, I'll see if I can find a way to get that to work. But anyway, it's sandbox.wisteria.org. Um, yeah, sometimes it will. This is like, really pretty. I like the background. The background image. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. That actually I did. Um, and this is the exact same. This is how it was set up um, originally. And then you see how it's just like welcome to Wisteria and it has this like poem. Um, that's how it was originally. And then somebody went on there, um, one of the other members, and just 
tried to put something more relevant mm -hmm. up on the front page, and that's why you have the different so like welcome you. talking about work bartering. But I actually, yeah, I really like that image. That's oh. where they took a drone image. That's where it is. And so I was thinking about having that as a background. Um, but we may not end up wanting to use this theme. I was just kind of playing around with it. Yeah. Um, but I do really like that photo. I don't know if it's too much or if it would uh, make it load too slow because it's like such a big image or whatever. But um, I thought it was really pretty. I don't know. Yeah, and it's really eye-catching. What is it, Chaz? Yeah, uh, I was going to say, I don't know, but I feel like the navigation bar is kind of small. Yeah, um, I think that's huge to that theme, but I'm going to have to look into it more and, and see. I think we should be able to add more. Um, that I just haven't got around to actually, like, fixing most of this stuff. Um, I've got around to, like, trying to access it, doing a lot of research, just playing around with things. Um, so yeah, I'll try to get a little more focused as to like uh, what we can actually start working on. But if you see things and like come up with a few things, still free, like jot them down on Discord or whatever, <laughs> or just you know like play with it. I'm not really totally sure how the sandbox works, like, um, but I'll figure out how to get you guys credentials to log in there so you can make changes or or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so so that's where we would actually be. That's what the site we would be kind of uh, fixing. And I believe it's just like basically a clone, but one that has like an updated PHP and updated uh, front end WordPress. Um, so I was so grateful. Like Bill sent me that at first. I was like uh, going down a huge rabbit hole trying to figure out how to update the site. Mm -hmm. And just like, it was like becoming really like, uh, like, uh, overwhelming. And then out of nowhere, um, the guy who created the site, who's like stepping down from most of the things, he just sends me a message on Facebook messenger. Like, Oh, by the way, I have this all set up for you. I updated everything. <laughs> um, and here's the sandbox. Yeah. Uh, on a newer version of Ubuntu with yeah. current PHP and all the WordPress modules are current as well. Oh, and this is what he said. He says, the intention was that you could make changes there, and then when it's ready, we just change the DNS assignments, which I think I Googled that at the time, and it's basically, I can't remember what it was, like, dom domain name server. Name server. Yeah. yeah, so we'll just change the assignments of the domain name server, and that'll route the traffic over to our new site, yeah. if that makes sense. I believe that, I mean, that's how I'm interpreting what he said. But, um, yeah, I was, like, pretty grateful. <laughs> because um, he said, you know, he had told me that he was going to do that initially, but that was, like, a year ago, and then I had heard that he's stepping down from everything and, like, uh, was just focusing on his actual job. So I'm like, well, he's probably not going to help me with that. <laughs> but, yeah, that was great. So Good. So he just gave you everything. Well, he gave me the sandbox. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Which was, which was everything to yeah. me at that point. Yeah. And faced with the daunting task of updating it myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was, it was pretty great. But he's like, he actually has like, I'll, I'll ask him. I can't remember um, his exact job title and stuff. I know he does computer programming for the government, but I don't even remember what kind or for what. But he has like a doctorate. Um, I don't think it's in programming. I think it's in like, neuroscience or something but he's like a super smart guy he just uh he's really really busy he's like overworked and so he like totally burn out in a bunch of ways so um he's been stepping back to take care of himself and i'm glad but uh yeah it's one of those things, like he can do so much but since he can do so much he was trying to do like way too much yeah <laughs> so yeah okay anyway i was glad he got that done in time but yeah so the next thing um, I was going to have us talk about is um, in the other classes, I was going to have everybody do pair programming, but then they had concerns because not everybody could have the right kind of internet access and other issues. So I told them they can not do pair programming if they didn't, if they felt like they couldn't do it. Um, okay. But so, on, so kind of bringing that into here, do we want to do solo projects or collaboration? I would prefer collaboration if it could be done because it'll be good practice. 
but if you feel like there's too many things that are we're not able to control, such as internet access and our schedules, then we can do solo projects. What do you guys think? I think collaborations could work well since me, Andy, and Gabe all seem to have moderate to uh, okay. Okay. Internet, so. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine with me too, and we can always split up separate separate tasks if yeah. we need to, like we did last semester. Yeah. Okay. Good. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, my internet's pretty good. Just uh, my problem is I haven't known what day it is <laughs> or what time it is in the day. <laughs> it's been really bad, but I'm I'm readjusting. I'm just like I'm in the second phase or something of the shifting my mindset. Or yeah. Something. Anyway, it's coming. Well, I was sending a text message to somebody earlier and I said Happy Friday, and I had to take a second. I'm like, it is Friday, right? <laughs> I, I really honestly like only barely know what day it's like this anymore. Like a little bit, like I know if it's like morning, afternoon, or yeah. night, kind of. But, and um, it doesn't seem like it's going to go away either. It's going to be like this no, for a while. It does seem that way. So I guess after some practice, we'll get better at it. Yeah. Last week was rough on me trying to do everything virtual. If this week, because yeah. I was wanting to control everything. This week, yeah. I accepted the fact that I have no control. They tell me they prefer the videos. I was like, fine, I'll make the videos. And right. that's all we'll do. <laughs> right. That's what you like. Nice. So um, speaking of videos, that's kind of what is going to, if you're on back on that Google Doc, there's a couple of links okay. to, to YouTube videos. Um, and because I want this to hold, this whole eight weeks, this whole class, it's going to be the nonprofit, you know, building it for Wisteria, but to also gain some experience on using WordPress as a tool. Okay. Um, so underscores, you know, WordPress, if you've played with WordPress any, you know that there's a lot of prefab themes in there, right? Right, Chaz? Yeah. Right. Okay. And some people who shall not be mentioned, but they're not here in class tonight, do not like <laughs> <laughs> prefabbed things. Oh, yeah. Um, so, but underscores um, is, a, is a theme that is very um, Craigslisty, meaning like there's very little styling to it. And so what those two videos are is how to get started with underscores and um then how you can customize underscores nice and um like uh, there seems to be too much of a lag whenever you guys try to you know trying to me to try to share my screen when it comes to something like the coding so i'm not going to even attempt it um but you guys can watch the videos on how to do it okay cool. i don't really have anything in mind for you to turn in but I just want you to do it because sometimes, you know, you guys doing this stuff is for your own benefit. as not just the grade, right? Yeah, totally. Chaz, do you agree with um, that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys need to kind of get in the mindset. And I think it's important for everybody to always have the mindset. It's like, are you, you know, don't do something just because there's a, a, a requirement or a grade attached to it. Do it because you want to learn mm -hmm. about it. Um, or because you get a cool badge. Exactly. That's, that's virtual and just like a, literally a picture. <laughs> have your deep lens. Um, I don't know when I should get it to you. I didn't finish totally my deep lens badge, not to get off track. Uh -huh. but, um, because I didn't have an HDMI cable, uh -huh. and I thought that um, I asked my boyfriend, and he was like, "No, I don't have one." But really, he does have a bunch. He just thought my <laughs> machine learning thing was creepy. So anyway, I'm, I'm find an HDMI cable, and like, I need to find a keyboard. Cool, and I need to find a keyboard I can hook up to it, and then I can update it, um, and then I can finish the badge because they want you to update it, and it looks really simple, but you need that like extra hardware. And I was like. Oh crap, like I don't have this extra stuff. <laughs> and now I'm like, I can't even go get it. I guess they could order it on off the internet. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like the keyboard that it plugs up to what? Yeah, you need uh like a keyboard that plugs that has a USB. Like they have some keyboards that are that just attach to whatever with the USB, I guess. And so 
the deep lens has where it, you can plug in the HDMI cable and then the, the keyboard and you can actually like, I guess you use like, I don't know if you use your screen or what, but you're able to like actually go on there and do the updates. But without those tools, you can't like really access it. You have to have those as tools. Gabe might not might know about that because I believe he was doing some type of stream earlier. Okay. Where yeah. I'll ask him. Honestly, that's probably what he's doing. He's probably on. Oh, he, he has another stream. Probably, yeah. Oh. But yeah, just keep doing playing with it, and um. Okay, cool. You said your boyfriend thought it was creepy. Well, he, yeah, he's, he's got no bravery. He's a business. Um, he just thought it was silly. I'm like, no, it's really cool. But I've already thought of a project now. I couldn't think of a project before. Uh -huh. But um, I thought of a project now. Um, so I remember when I was at uh, Code Mash, and this wasn't Deep Lens. It was a Microsoft Azure Kinetic mm -hmm. device. But mm -hmm. it's the same idea yeah. that there's a video camera. You can teach it stuff, basically, because yeah. it's plugged up to this deep learning like computer thing mm -hmm. and um so he taught his little project just for practice the guy who was giving the talk on it was uh to try to teach it to identify if people were wearing a construction hat or not mm -hmm. right yeah because there's some places where you have to wear a construction hat so if you just had these cameras and they could flag people that didn't have them like whatever for security that'd be good um and he was able to do it with like a pretty small sample size he was able to teach it like I want to say he said like 30 photos and that sounds crazy. So mm -hmm. maybe that I have it totally wrong. But so with all the people like um, wearing masks now, I decided I want to see if I could teach it to tell if somebody's wearing a mask or not. But that's probably really easy. But Well, still. that's cool though. I mean, you're going to practice and you're going to learn along cool. the way. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'd be a cool little project. Yeah. And it's current with the so times, you know. Work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to see how the whole thing works. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you can so blog like, about yeah, it and share your experiences on LinkedIn and yeah. all of that on Twitter and all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. You can make a, a video then, blog yeah, and all of I that. Should. Yeah, I should do that. I need to. I need to get out of my, I've been feeling like extra, um, like introverted, like hunkering down, like, like quadruple amount, like mm -hmm. instead of just a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I'm so extreme. It's like all or nothing. I'm like, okay, I don't want to like even talk to the outside world now. But it has been good. Going to the meetup yesterday and stuff was really good for me to get me out of my comfort zone online and stuff mm -hmm. and um, practice. So I'm just going to try to keep small steps. Yeah. You know, Jazz says she went to it forward. and she had some good takeaways. What did you think of it? She did. I saw her. I thought it was really interesting. I just posted my takeaways, I think, on Blackboard right before class. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it was really good for me. Um, even just practicing on Zoom and stuff, it was definitely the biggest meeting I've been to. There's probably at least 20 people there. I don't know if that's right or not, mm -hmm. but something like that. Um, and it was nice, though. Um, I guess I've been to one other meetup that was just women, but this was my first virtual meetup. So that was different. And, um, yeah, it was really good. Um, it definitely got me out of my comfort zone. They had us break up into small groups mm -hmm. and, um, give each other our elevator pitch for feedback. Mm -hmm. And I like that kind of stuff, like terrifying to me and I hate it more mm -hmm. than anything. And then it's a bunch of strangers that all have like, you know, their shit together and stuff. Mm -hmm. so that doesn't make it less intimidating. But I just like always try to force myself to do stuff if I can. Mm -hmm. So I did it. And I thought it was really helpful because, yeah, I always forget, you know, you want to make things easier for the people that you're trying to communicate with. And I realized that, yeah, like my weakest thing about my elevator pitch is I just kind of like say who I am and what I'm interested in, but I don't really have like an ask or mm -hmm. whatever they call it, like, mm -hmm. where you, like, actually say what you want. Yeah. And, um, but that's, like, the most important part that helps people, like, help you get what you want. So I really just need to, like, clearly define that so I can mm -hmm. communicate it better, I think. But, so that was good um, feedback. And, you know, it's one of those things that's, like, really obvious, but then you just, like, don't see it yeah. until yeah. you point and, it out. Yeah, and that's the, that's the important yeah, stuff, going to those things. Um, 
Chaz, you said yours, um, since there wasn't that many people, and I couldn't stay because my connection was horrible. The one you went to for the WordPress meetup, um, you said they kind of talked about different things. What was the things that they talked about? Uh, well, since there wasn't a lot of people, it was usually just me asking questions about uh, mm -hmm. WordPress. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't cool. really understand any of it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how it is whenever Andrea and I go to the live ones, just me and her asking questions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, one of the people there was going around using all of the little filters, so that's kind of how I figured out about them. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool, yeah. It's fun, the stuff you pick up when you <laughs> are yeah. around a bunch of nerds. I love it. <laughs> uh, what else was there? Good, good. Um, okay, so... A few other things, I forgot most of them. The what now? So there's a few other things, but that was the main ones that I learned. Good. Cool. They're very, very nice. Um, we, they usually have it at IHOP yeah. in Athens. Um, and it's a good excuse to go to IHOP. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Sounds nice right now, doesn't it? The, yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's weird when you're not allowed to do stuff. I know. Like, well, now I want to. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's always, you know, whenever I have a light day or something, when I was working at the office, I was asking Ryan if I want to work from home, and usually it wasn't a big deal. But, and mm. now that I'm told I have to work from home, I'm like, um, you're like, yeah. I want to go to yeah. the office. <laughs> Right, it used to be this like, ooh, I can yeah. work from home and yeah. I have to be with you guys. Yeah. I can just do it there, and now it's like, oh, can't believe yeah. I can't too. Yeah, Nicholas and Nicholas, he's even though Nicholas is twenty, he keeps getting bored, and he comes, he keeps coming in here while I'm trying to work, and he asks like, "What do you need?" He said, "Not and just bored, want to annoy you." I'm like, right. <laughs> I'm not bored. I have things to do. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I watch Tristan who's seven all day, but luckily he is so obsessed with video games that if I just let him watch other people play video games on uh -huh. YouTube or play video games, he will leave me alone for any amount of time. Oh, that's good. Um, but then, of course, I feel guilty. And also next week he's gonna have his actual school assignment, so I have to find a way to actually get him to do his. <laughs> um, in the middle of all that, <laughs> but he's loving it. He's like, I love just sitting around and playing video games. <laughs> and we have got out a little bit, you know, and taken hikes and done some other stuff, and we've worked on schoolwork a little bit, but mm -hmm. not not a full day's worth hardly i think like the very first day we like tried to for the whole day and yeah. then, now it's like let's do one thing <laughs> today, not forever just really not even an hour just like 20 anything 20 minutes just try yeah yeah the but, frustration um, the frustration levels definitely it's taking its toll on a lot of people <clears throat> yeah you know, um, like the I, other day I was in a meeting with Ryan um, doing, mm -hmm. and his little girls was there and he was trying to keep oh, them cool. occupied. <laughs> yeah, that's hard when you have to do both jobs at the same time, I think. Yeah. yeah but um, I just tell Nicholas if he's, I can see him walk in, I was like, he's like, go. And it's like, mm -hmm. I'm in a meeting. Leave me alone. <laughs> right. Because that's the thing, you don't even want to say anything because you're in a meeting. You're just like, <laughs> Funny. Great, but my boyfriend will come in and interrupt my meetings and just like be ridiculous. He already did it once at, during this class uh -huh. just to come in here and show me that he had a tick on him. So, so like, what am I going to do about it, though? You know, like, take it off you. I mean, yeah, I get it. I hope you don't get Lyme. This sucks. But what am I going to do? Well, anyway. well, my favorite thing is like, you know, because I'm home and my husband, he's like, can you do laundry for me? And I'm like, I'm working. 
<laughs> yeah, just because I'm here doesn't mean, yeah, exactly. But so. yeah, it's definitely getting, it's definitely a learning curve getting used to this. And it looks like it's going to be like this for a decent amount of time. So, um, the, for the classes, like I know the art program, they're having issues because it has some hands on. You actually need to be hands on. Yeah. I mean, we're lucky enough so, that ours is virtual yeah. enough that you don't need to be hands on, but yeah. So are there people who, and this, I know that I'm asking the wrong person uh -huh. probably will definitely, but I assumed, yeah, that there may be people who were like in our year that were yeah. going to graduate in May, but they have like where they're, they have requirements in their program where yeah. they have to like touch people like clinical yeah. for, you know, like nursing or something, or like now you're saying like art, but you know, like equestrian stuff, I, yeah. are you going to like, but I don't know if they're allowed to be around horses right now. I don't even know how any of it works, but, um, so are, are they just not going to be able to graduate then? I, I don't know. They don't, honest to goodness, they don't have a plan. They're, they're not sure. They they're, know, yeah. they're, 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 they keep waiting to out. see what, what the, the, our hope was the first four weeks were going to be online like it has been. The yeah. second four weeks, yeah. it could be back to normal. Yeah, that's that the first plan. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem to look like it's going, not. huh? What'd you say, Chaz? I said I'd rather not. <laughs> you I like the like online? <laughs> no, but in the but for be better than switching back and forth. Mm -hmm. if, the if um you well, I mean, I have some students they actually prefer the in classroom thing, but that's fine. But for yeah, everybody I mean, else, else do, but. the for our for our class, it's not an issue. For our program, it's a non issue. Yeah, we're lucky. Um, for the other ones, they're kind of playing it by ear. They're having some tentative plans. Like this is plan A. Like I'm on plan E, for example, on how to make this oh work. <laughs> oh I've gone through. I've gone through so many ideas that have not worked. <laughs> everyone yeah um so and the cool thing about the meetup too is everyone's in a different industry and they're talking about like how they're dealing with it it was like crazy yeah and hawking college yeah. is the same thing they're going through their, their plans like this is our plan right now mm -hmm. it's to be yeah. determined if it's going to actually I work it, but right? yeah. what is it what? Or is somebody else talking to you? Oh, I was just going to say that, yeah, it seems like um, the plans change a lot, but then, you know, everything's kind of changing as far as what you're allowed to do in our state and just yeah. the situation. So, I, I mean, I, it's totally understandable. Yeah. And Nicholas, I mean, Nicholas, he's supposed to graduate in May as well. And, yeah. um, you know, and he's frustrated right before school because, you know, all the unknowns and the uncertainties mm -hmm. and how he's going to do class. Same questions that you guys have had, you know, yeah. and um, and he just got mad. He said he's just going to quit. I was like, you know, and just, you know, just going to yeah. quit school and get a job. And I was like, oh, I was like, you need to Where? stop and think, OK, you, the economy's yeah. crashing. <laughs> right. it's not a good time, I was Wait, like, we have an economy. <laughs> so, and i was like you're reacting to a frustration okay you mm -hmm. quitting school is not going to solve anything exactly it just doesn't help um i hope he can actually graduate though because i know his stuff's pretty hands-on too yeah. so he says he thinks he'll him. be able to for this class that he's got to take he thinks that he can do it all online he says it would be better, obviously, if it could be hands-on, but he thinks it can meet it just to run it online. Just the requirements for yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm still in class. So I'm just going to... I see that. Uh, the, going back to this um, Google Doc, um, uh, the announcements that I have just on the guest speakers, I have guest speakers at varying times. I've already sent out the calendar invites for Shauna and Mike. Um, I do. The expectation is for all the students to attend, um, even though it's not the normal class schedule. Mm -hmm. Jazz. I put them on my calendar Good. so that I will have, so that my phone will tell me when it's that day and time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I just have to like keep my phone. I've been thinking about bringing it up with it because 
we kind of have a toxic relationship lately, but <laughs> I'll try to I'll try to work it out. <laughs> do my best. Jazz, do you have any yeah. questions oh, on yeah, that? I'm actually excited, so that's why I'm excited to go. To good, good. And I think that would be really cool. I mean, I would love to hear more about what either of them would say, and this would be like a, yeah. Cool. And Daisy Jo Pollard, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, she, she can look her up on LinkedIn. She's on LinkedIn. Uh, she started a couple of different beauty businesses. She's a beauty pageant winner or something like Miss Jamaica something. I don't know. Her, she's got a history in the beauty okay. pageant. Um, but she's really interesting. Um, and just, she was talking about how marketing, marketing is a big thing when it comes to websites, you know, you're either marketing for, to sell a service, to sell a product or to, you know, somehow everything's marketing in some capacity. Yeah. And um, she was talking about that in the podcast that I listened to her that she was on. And, um, mm. and I reached out to her, like I said, after I listened to the podcast, this is something I advise you guys to do as well. If you hear somebody that was a really interesting conversation on a podcast, reach out to them on LinkedIn and connect with them. Yeah. Um, I'm good. <laughs> Um, and Jacob Reed, he's the CEO of JR Studio. Um, and they got the link in there. And um, he's an Ath- I think he's based in Athens. Oh, what? I think I know him. Okay. <laughs> um, I can't tell from that link, but I think I know him. Yeah. Okay. Jacob and Casey. Um, I knew that he did a uh, front end um, web work. Mm-hmm. And because he's friends with my boyfriend their friends and so we've met and like gone to their house mm-hmm. before and stuff and his wife if it's the person i'm thinking of his wife is an artist and really awesome um but the summer like last summer before i got the internship at the registrar's office my plan if i didn't have a job lined up was i was gonna like um apprentice or shadow or like intern or whatever you want to mm-hmm. call it with him and then another guy in town who does back in Mm-hmm. Uh, his name's Jeff. That was my like, that was like my plan B or C or whatever. <laughs> I didn't have a real job, but yeah, Jacob's really nice. That'd be cool. I'm looking forward to that good, too. Good. I was actually going to have him teach this class. I was talking with him originally to teach his class. I just didn't get everything oh. done with the credentialing in time for him to be approved to teach this class. Um, uh, but you I know, didn't. maybe next time. Yeah. But anyways, those are the speakers. I might try to get one more. I mean, I know this is already week two and that's already four, four different weeks. That's what I'm trying to do one a week. So I might do one more, but, um, I want, I want some feedback from everybody on what, after they do this and what they think of the idea of having these guest speakers, you know, to come in and virtually, you know, talk and share their experiences. You know, Shauna, she's a programmer. She's, she's a freelancer. And one of the things I want her to ask her to talk about is how to deal with imposter syndrome, her, her career path as a free, freelancer and, you know, everything that she's done. Mike Straw, you know, he works with WordPress. Um, Daisy Joe, I told you about her a little bit, you know, her pathway um, as an entrepreneur and starting some businesses. And Jacob Reed, um, he's a designer um, and CEO of JR Studio. So hopefully they'll give you some diverse experiences and, Things to maybe think about as you guys, you know, start thinking about your next step. Cool. Uh-huh. Chaz, what do you think? About what? About having... <laughs> 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 Are you going to tell me next you were tuning me out? No. Okay, good. <laughs> but what do you think about having speakers like that? Oh, I was... I'm okay with it. Okay. Um, so, um, so my, like I mentioned earlier, it's like I'm on plan E and trying to figure out how to, you know, deliver virtual classes. And I think this is how I'm pretty much going to do it. Like we'll do like a discussion par- portion of what we can, but anything that requires you following along with me on a display or a monitor, mm-hmm. there's such a lag and the frustration level is too high. I'm just going to make videos and let you guys have it. You can pause it or fast forward to your heart's content. 
Exactly. That's better because of that anyway, because you can like rewind it if mm-hmm. you miss something. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So that is actually kind of like really cool for that part of stuff. Good. I think. And, and I'm doing it like within this past, either the day of, like I did those today. So you know that the platform is still the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's been no changes since when the video was made. <laughs> um, right, like last month or whatever. Yeah, but so hopefully that'll help. Um, I just, I don't edit them. So every now and then you might hear my kid just barge in and I'm like, and I'm like looking for the pause mm-hmm. button or, you know, something along mm-hmm. those lines. Yeah. But, um, you just deal with it. <laughs> That's right. All right. That's how most of my YouTube videos are. What is it? Mm-hmm. So that's how most of my YouTube videos are. <laughs> just highly unedited. That's how mine are. Unless I like film them like a million times. Cause I'm like, Nope, uh-huh. that one wasn't good. It, mm-hmm. it, it got messed up. And then yeah. I just like keep doing it. And that that's a horrible place to be. Cause you're never done. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah I don't pay Gabe that. to edit it. Yeah, let's pay Gabe to edit it, but not money. I wonder if he needs something else. Like I don't know something. Uh, he'll he'll accept accept monitors. He he loves the monitors. Monitors, mm-hmm. monitors. I have six of them at a time. Okay, I don't have a monitor. <laughs> I remember that I dream of his. <laughs> yeah, I, I that sounds familiar actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's because uh, the speech class we were told to like say something that we always was a true oh, stuff, yeah. and then uh, something we've always wanted and whatever. And he wants six hundred. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Uh, I told him I have two of them here that he could have, but <laughs> I'll pick them. Actually, pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> so well, he's not here right now, so. <laughs> Well, so what I want everybody to do um, as actual homework, mm-hmm. and I don't know if I put it in, okay. I haven't done it, put it in blue quill or not blue quill. Never say blue quill again. Yeah. Blackboard. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, some of my classes still use blue quill. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anson Gage. I'm still sorry. <laughs> and Blackboard. And that's Slack. Okay. That's and what's okay. the other one? Uh, Moodle? Uh, no. CNX. No, I don't have Moodle. No, I, don't I, don't, I don't do CNX. I don't know that one. Okay, what's the homework? I'm okay. It's the things that I highlighted on that, um, that Word document. Oh, on the doc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. So I, I just highlighted the collaborate because that's what we decided upon. So just fill off the Trello cool. board. I put a few things in there. I want everybody to kind of think about and what, you know, what we need to do. I put a thing in it. Huh? Do what? I said I put a thing in it. Oh, what did you put? Fix the small arrow button to make it la- match the line. Okay. Of the footer. Okay. I thought you was going to. that was bothering me. Okay. That's fine. I thought you was like going to. Centimeter or whatever, but. That's mm. fine. Nice. No. That's a good okay, suggestion. I was afraid guy. that you were going to do a smart ass suggestion. A joke one. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would I do that? I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, um, I'm so good at these online classes that even though I saw this earlier, I totally um, went to our Blackboard classroom before I came here. Very good. Whoa. Nothing's on there. I still do. <laughs> yeah, no, there was no one here. So I left and then I'm like, Oh crap, I forgot. <laughs> I'm slow, guys. You just gotta wait for me to catch up. That's okay. The um at least you showed up. Ooh, uh Tasha, I sent you a message in uh Discord. I know, right? I'm so proud of myself. I, I was really feeling pretty bad <laughs> about myself and my chances of making it through the semester. <laughs> But I feel better now. Good. good. All right, I'll look at it just a second. Yeah. Um, Chaz. Um, okay. Let's see. I mean, it's about one of my 